What's up guys, Mike MTG Jedi here, and boy do I have a video for you. This is going to be my top 10 wish list for 2021. The presents are under the tree, and hopefully Raid has some good ones in store for us. And these are the ones that are on my list for things I would love for us to get in 2021. Without further ado, let's jump right into number 10. At number 10, we have a new clan boss. We are all very familiar with this clan boss right here. You know, we we do our thing, we make our unkillable teams. If we can't do unkillable teams, we put super tanky stuff in there so we can survive a long time. Shout out to the Oath Cluster and my clan. Um, you know, we figured it out, basically. And one of the things that Raid has stated they were working on at one point or another is a new clan boss, the Hydra. I think that would be super cool to have another clan boss, something cool to work on. But if they decide to, you know, focus their efforts um, like on the Doom Tower bosses instead of a, a new clan boss, I suppose that'd be all right too. But I think it'd be really cool to get a new clan boss. I find the Demon Lord kind of boring and I would like a new interesting thing to do. Um, I think that there's a lot of things that they could do for that, but that is my number 10, the Hydra clan boss or a new clan boss. What's gonna be number nine? Coming in at number nine is a new mission, a new mission. Once you've completed this Arbiter mission, it just sits here. It just sits here taunting you like, hey, we, we might want to do another mission at some point, so we're going to leave it there, but it's blank. Like, there's plenty of spots here. Let's just stack them up, the missions, right? Once a year, once every couple months, give us a new set of progression missions. I think it would be fun and interesting, okay? Um, in addition to that, we could get a new campaign mode, okay? We have these four modes already, normal, hard, brutal, nightmare. You can add another one, like add a factions um, campaign mode, where you have to fight through all the stages with one faction or another, okay? Um, you can also uh, add a story mode here, you know, normal, hard, brutal, nightmare story right? Where we get additional context, we get additional stories of what's happening in Teleria, which I feel like the story of this world is very limited. So any of those things I would love to see. Uh, and, and that's my number nine, okay? Uh, what do you guys think of that? Would you like a new set of missions? Would you like a new campaign mode? Um, you know, let me know what your thoughts are on all of these top 10 items in the comments below. Until then, let's jump into number eight. Coming in at number eight, we have a mystery in the game right now. What is this? We thought it was the Doom Tower. I did. I bet you did. But what is it, and what are we going to do with it? I'd say this should be the book tower. You know, go fight through levels to get pages, or, I mean, you know, something having to do with getting more books in the game, because even though they've increased the amount of books you can get, it just is not enough, man. It's not enough. I can't book all my champions. Unless you're wailing out, you can't either, be honest. So something having to do with that here would be great. And it looks like a library in my opinion. It really does. But I don't know. We need to know what this does. Um, so I would love to see that in 2021. On to number seven. So number seven is going to be automation. And what do I mean by that? 
Well, we need some things in the game to be sped up the process, okay? Like, my clan boss run takes me minimum 15 minutes. Like, I, I set it and then I go eat breakfast typically every day, okay? But, you know, with all of this content that we have now, it's taking a lot of time. What I would love to see is for faction wars to be automated. You know, like, see, I forgot to finish Faction Wars today. I need to do that, right? I think you should just be able to auto-claim the rewards from the stage that you've beaten. So if I come in here, I could just come up to stage 20 or 21 and hit complete and then get the rewards from that. You know, that would incentivize people to you know, continue to work towards those higher levels because you could auto it, you know, you could automatically claim your rewards every day. It would be like getting a chest, um, except, you know, you wouldn't have to spend the 10, 20, 30 minutes or whatever to fight through your, your stages here. And I think that would really speed up the process, okay? We can automate a lot of different parts of the game, okay? We could automate dungeons, Autocomplete based on your best time, okay? But I think the best thing to automate would be Faction Wars. Either way, we just need to speed up some things, okay? And so coming in at number seven would be automation. At number six, we just need some quality of life improvements in the game give you a good example here okay i want to go upgrade the level of a champion so i scroll all the way to the bottom because my inventory is full i click on the guy i put a brew in i hit upgrade and then i click off of him and i like click something else and it takes me all the way to the top why i obviously i wanted to upgrade the rank of the champion i just leveled up Obviously, I wanted to work on the skills of that champion, the ascension of that champion, whatever it is. You shouldn't have to scroll all the way back down here to the bottom to do this. You should not, okay? It should just switch between these and stay wherever you are. Simple things like that, quality of life improvements, okay? Another easy quality of life improvement would be boxes, okay? Uh, it's similar to how Pokemon does it, okay, but they have boxes. We have one champion vault. Like, why can't I have champion vaults 1 through 10 and then click on 1 and it has, like, all of a specific thing that I can sort it. You know what I mean? Like, all of the duplicate legendaries that I have or all of the food champions and then let me name it or something, okay? Okay quality of life improvements, nicknames on champions, right? Like, I still have one Arbiter at 60 and one at 59 so that I can tell them apart, right? <laughs> we need these little quality of life things that will be very easy to implement. They could even say, here is your quality of life improvements patch and just give us all these little things. It would be wonderful. I still, I can't tell my Royal Guards apart. And this is one of the reasons why people don't build duplicate champions. Because you can't tell them apart, right? Not only would I rather build a new different champion, uh, like the Sweet Guardian. <laughs> I haven't gotten to this video yet, but it, it's coming, guys. It's coming. Um, you don't even know. That guy is sweet. So, and then look. And then it put me right back at the top again. Okay? So... <laughs> Fix the scroll bug. Fix a lot of these uh, quality of life improvements. What are some of the other ones? More inventory filters. More inventory filters. So we come over here. One of the best updates of 2020 was the artifact sorting. Period. Great job, Polarium. I did not play a ton before this came into the game, and I have no idea how you would do it. I have no idea. How would you find any gear ever? It would be miserable but we can still improve it. Um, like for example, one of the ones that people want the most is not primary, but if we come over here to substats, speed, we should not only be able to sort by artifact set, 
but we should be able to sort with ascending or descending order of that stat. So for example, yes, this one has 10 speed and this one has six speed, okay? But like where, even within the sets, where's my best speed gear? I still have to click through this. And then if I click equipped, I mean, I have a ridiculous amount of speed gear because that's the gear that I use the most. And you're probably the same way. That's the gear you keep the most because it's the most important. So working on this artifact sorting, all of these quality of life changes would be really, really helpful. So that is going to be number six today. I'm very excited about number five. Do you have a guess on what it would be? Do you know anything on this list? What do you think? Let me know. Okay, number five. So, number five is long overdue. If you come in here to Dungeons, you can click on Ice Golem's Peak and go down to stage 16 through 20. Why can we not do that in the Potion Keeps? Where are 16 through 20 in the Potion Keeps? Please, right now, immediately, we need this in the game, okay? We need this in the game right now. It's just unreasonable. Again, with so much content, which is great, not saying anything bad about content, but we need this to be in the game like right away, right away. Also, why can't we add Minotaur in there 16 through 20, okay? And help us speed up that scroll progression. Like, listen, however much energy we have, we're gonna use it, almost every player. So freeing up like energy here to make like a couple extra dragon runs or something, like it's not gonna change how much money you're making. It's just gonna change how much we like the game. Okay, so Potion Keeps and Minotaur 16 through 20, you know that would be a big deal. You know that would be a big deal, and that's why it's number five on my list. Number four. We really need to update the shard pool, please. Um, well, actually, let me let me show that show it to you another way. There is no reason why we should be able to summon these champions from shards. No reason. No reason. I have two Drek stars. You know, I don't need another one. Why? Why do we need to be able to summon Krila from our sacred shards? Come on, man. That is not okay. More importantly than that are the login reward champions. The login reward champions have absolutely no business in the shard pool. Everyone gets them. If I open a dupe cantra, I will throw my computer across the room. Okay? Like, people I've seen open dupe Vizix, that is just the worst. She's already the worst void legendary. You heard it here first. She's the worst. You get her for free, she's the worst. Um, and <laughs> if you open a second one, oh, shoot me, shoot me. So we need an update to the shard pool. Remove all of the login champions, all of them. Everyone gets them. Just take them out. Okay. And also remove the fusion champions. I don't want a duplicate Wurlam. I don't want another Wurlam. I don't want any... I don't want anything to do with, I guess Whirlum's a little different because he was the battle pass, but same kind of thing. Champions you get for free or that everyone has access to should be removed from the shard pool. Now, we are going to need a way to deal with that, okay? So, since we're going to remove them, what we need is over here on the fusion tabs, we need all of the fusions listed in the game all of them okay now what you can do polarium instead of just having them available at all times is for example 
have an event instead of a new fusion, anyone can work on fusing any of the old champions that they want, right? So you have your list down here. People who don't have Tormund, maybe they can go back and get him. I would love to get Foley, or um, I would love to get Sir Nick, you know? And if you decided that there were some champions that were too good to be put on that list, then leave them in shards. Like, Sir Nick is amazing, so is Tormund, so is Rhodos. If you want those guys to still be in shards, fine. But, you know, all of the 2020 fusions should be removed. All of the 2020 fusion should be removed. Every Fragment Summon ever should be removed. There's no question, okay? And we do need events for these, right? Like, I got 35 extra Krila Fragments. What am I going to do with those? Okay, I don't want to open one from a shard, but if you gave me the chance to get more Fragments for it, maybe that would incentivize me to work towards it. Don't open them in shards, just add more ways for people to do the fusions and the fragment summons. Okay, so that is number four, update the shard pool. So many people rage quit this game because they open a second Vizix or whatever the champion is, right? Um, so please update the shard pool. There's so many champions in the game now, we can easily remove some and it will not change anything, okay? will not change anything. On to number three, we're getting up there to the top. Number three, guys, this is a big one. When you come in here to work on a champion and you want to upgrade a piece of gear to level 16, you might as well go, you know, mow the lawn or like do your schoolwork for the day or finish your job, you know, like it just takes so long, right? So in addition, it's a problem for the server, okay? One of the reasons why it takes so long is because each level queries the server, okay? If you're doing the upgrade individually, it sends a signal to the server, it checks whether or not you get your upgrade or not, and then it brings it back. And all of this artifact upgrading really bogs down the server, all right? We just remove it. Just change the whole artifact enhancement process, okay? So here, let me go find a new piece of gear. Let's go find a new piece of gear. Um, filter into just new. All right, so we have this sweet lifesteal piece, and we're really excited about it for whatever reason. Okay, so when you hit upgrade, here's what happens, okay? It tells you the numbers, how much silver it's going to cost. It just tells you for 4, 8, 12, and 16. There's no need to go to level 2, 3, none of that. Skip it. Just 4, 8, 12, and 16, and it tells you the cost. Right here, upgrade. You just hit it and it works. And then it and then you can have like a little arrow that goes between the two stats, like boop 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 boop. Sound effects, guys. That's that's what you came here for, and I'm gonna give that to you. And so then that would be your randomness. It would still be interesting and exciting for us to upgrade gear, but it would take five seconds instead of 50 minutes to upgrade one piece of gear okay and then let's say that you're coming in here we're, we're definitely selling that by the way <laughs> let's say you're coming in here on this legendary piece then your arrow would just go between the four each time it would just go one two three four one two three four one two three four and then it would stop on one of them right but it would take five seconds instead of 50 minutes um, is this piece actually good for a day's piece of gear? It's not bad, but I still think that's a sell. So let's sell. We need an upgrade to the artifact upgrade system. We need an upgrade. It's, you know, one of the reasons why people hate upgrading artifacts is because it takes so long. And then that gets them off of this on blue stacks, making videos about blue stacks. Polarium, you want people in your game in your client, and this is one of the main ways, 
nobody would be on blue stacks hardly ever if you put this in the game so number three on the list artifact upgrade rework just overhaul it and completely change it i think my idea is good it would save so much time effort i mean it it you can even cut down on the cost of upgrading the artifacts it everyone will love you polarium if you decrease the cost of upgrading to 16 so that it is less because we're already pushed for silver so just lower the cost at the same time okay two more to go on this sweet top 10 wish list for 2021 number two are you guys enjoying the little comic strip i think i used this on one other video and uh it just makes me laugh if you're paying attention if not click back through the video to um the screens they all have a little comic strip i, I just thought it was fun but more importantly number two is more times to events and being creative okay we need these things in the game okay what am i saying here give me a times two event for silver give me a times two event for potions give me a free gear swap weekend these are things other games have in, you know give me a double xp weekend yes it would stack on top of this that's okay that's what every other game does you know you have xp upgrades you can stack them with a double xp weekend and you know go ahead and throw your normal tournament or event in there to go with it but the events and tournaments in this game is not the same as any other game guys you know it i know it everyone knows it okay we need some real real I don't want to call them events. We already have events. It's right there. I don't want to call them tournaments. We have those right there. Let's call them celebrations. Just give me a shout out, Polarium. You can use that. That's a free one. Celebrations. And we're going to have a silver celebration and double your silver rewards in all areas of the game for three days. I promise you, people will give you money to buy energy. You can, I will. Uh, give me an, a sweet energy pack. Give me a double silver weekend. I will buy it, spend all of that energy, and get the double silver right now. Let's go. Okay? And everybody would too. Even free-to-play players, you tell me in the comments. If you're free-to-play and they had a double silver weekend, would you buy a sweet energy deal or not? Tell me in the comments. You know you'd be tempted. You know you'd be tempted even if you're free-to-play. Either way, let's get some celebrations. Let's get some new interesting events going on in the game. And um, bonus one, nine, uh, you know, 2.5. Let's get some more holiday themes in here. This was wonderful. Great job, Polarium, on the Christmas theme. But we could do this for uh, tons of different things throughout the year, and it would be sweet. It would be sweet. I'm going to be sad when all the Christmas decorations are gone. I really will. We finally made it. Did you watch all of them? If not, click back through. I'll wait. Just kidding. I'm not going to wait. But you can go back if you if you didn't get any of them. The number one wish for 2021. You know it. I know it. Did I get you hanging there on the edge of your seat for this one? The number one wish for 2021. That's right. Drum roll, please. I'm not going to do a drum roll song or theme or put it in here. But Polarium, we need a dupe system in the game now. Number one reason people quit. Dupe system. Number one reason. Because they play through the game, they give you lots of money, and then they have an extra molly, moss, beard, you know, and like, if you're watching this and you don't have a legendary at all, if you don't have any duplicates, trust me when I say, eventually you'll have duplicates, and you want this feature added to the game. 
So hopefully, when you open your second astrolith, you're like, oh, that's not that bad, because I can turn it into fragments that I can use for any champion. Or I can sacrifice um, one legendary champion, and that will unlock one of the old fusions for me to complete, right? Like, let me go ahead and sacrifice, I'll sacrifice four. Let me sacrifice four legendaries. I think that's probably a little overkill. Let's say two. I'll sacrifice two, two duplicate legendaries to go summon Foley right now. I mean, I would do it for four, but you know, just give us something to do with our duplicates. Okay, I know that I'm unlucky and I have a lot of duplicates, but I also have a lot of legendaries. I understand this, okay? But we need something to do with them, guys. We need something to do with them. And what about duplicate epics, right? I've been saving every epic that I open for a while now. We need something to do with duplicate epics as well. Here is my thought you get a special new shard that gives you a new legendary. You sacrifice two legendary champions. They don't have to be duplicates. We so just let people sacrifice any legendary they don't like. You don't like your Astrolith? Sacrifice her. And then you get a new shard that gives you a legendary. Call it like a diamond shard or something. You know what I mean? And then same thing for, um, for epics. Okay, you sacrifice four epics and it gives you a new epic. Yes, it could also be a duplicate, but at least we have a chance. And I don't know, usually Polarium ignores our ideas and suggestions and does it in their own way, which I'm still okay with as long as we get it in the game. I want to get rid of these duplicates. Please thank you very much. Uh, I have two Astroliths, I have two Yannickas, I have two Viziers, two Brachis, I have three Moss Beards, okay, that one hurts real bad. I have two Mollies, I have two Ignatius, okay, I'm about to have uh, two Drexthars, thankfully I don't have two Vizix, I would just break everything. But listen, we just need a way to deal with duplicate legendaries in a positive way. And I bet you that would bring people back to the game if you put a duplicate system in here. Okay. We're going to get some information on this chick. I think she's better than people give her credit for. And that will be coming. I have a lot of other sweet videos coming um, over the Christmas holiday. You do not want to miss them. Half of you are not subscribed. Just hit it. Hit that subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe. Hit that like button. Leave me a comment and I will give you a compliment. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. You all are amazing. I really want to hit a thousand subs and I really want to continue making awesome content for you guys. Leave me your feedback. What did I forget? What did I forget? Tell me in the comments. Would you have changed the order? Is there something that I didn't put on here? Do you disagree? Let me know. We'll start talking about it. And until next time, thank you for watching. I am MTG Jedi, the one and only. You guys have a lovely day. Merry Christmas.